<clears throat> Alright, this is my 91 Wrangler. Um, used to be uh, this color blue. It was a, uh, oh, what was it called? Uh, Lorado. Um, and had like the whole step thing and the chrome bumpers, but this bumper's pretty screwed up. I couldn't get it off. I had to, had to uh, torch it off. I'm just gonna weld my next one on anyway. Uh, but yeah, I rattle can this whole thing, and I'm not happy with it. Really wasn't ever happy with it, but I did accept it. Then I had this idea of, oh, I'm gonna take a uh, SOS pad and try to get all the haze out. Well, that just, just scratched it to hell. Should have thought a little harder before I did that. Um, I'm gonna try to uh, roll, paint the hood with uh, the Rust-Oleum uh, gloss black. Um, I mixed it 50-50 with mineral spirits. Uh, I did a 40 to 60 uh, a few days ago. I don't know what the problem was, but I had huge bubbles in my paint, like all over the place. It looked like a frog. And it took me a while to sand it out, but I just spent a lot more time mixing it. And I noticed last time I mixed it, there wasn't really a lot of bubbles popping up. So I'm hoping that since there's a lot of bubbles popping up right now, uh, they're not gonna appear in the paint. Uh, yeah, and I did, I was trying something here, and besides the, these marks, uh, I was trying to squeegee the paint on, because that seemed to be the only way I could get it on without making bubbles. So compare the glossiness on that to the rattle can, yeah. It looks a little bit better, but I can't do the whole Jeep like that without getting those marks. It'd be way too hard. So I'm going to try this again, and uh, if I have huge bubbles again, I'm going to be pretty upset. Probably uh, do something bad. So hopefully I don't have any problems. Uh, yeah, hopefully it turns out nice. But I will make a video after I get this... Uh, first coat on.